Okay, so if you guys have been considering buying or recently purchased a Western Digital Drive, specifically for this video, the My Passport Drive, uh, which is the portable hard drive, um, you probably noticed if you're a Mac user, and you may have noticed too if you're a PC user, because this uh, is actually crucial to PC users as well, that on the top it says that it is formatted in NTFS, which is for Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7, um, and basically that is like a Windows exclusive format pretty much um, if you're a Mac user and or a PC user who will be using a Mac or other devices such as if you want to run music uh, as off a USB drive through your PS3 for instance uh, you're gonna need to reformat your hard drive into uh, a more universal format so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today on a Mac uh, the PC way is a bit simpler just because uh, it's just easier to find uh, if you're familiar with PCs uh, or Windows. Um, I prefer Macs, so I'm just going to show you guys how to do it in Mac OS X line. And this is pretty much the same thing for Snow Leopard and probably Leopard 2. Um, so you need to go down to Applications, and then you need to go to Utilities, then you need to go to Disk Utility. And as soon as this comes up, you want to click on your drive, and then it's not going to say format. That kind of threw me off at first. It's going to say erase. They're trying to make it simpler for people who necessarily wouldn't know what format means. And right now it says MS DOS FET, but when you first plug in your drive, it's not going to say that. It's going to come up as NTFS. Now, these other uh, ways to erase or format are good if you're specifically using Macs and you know you're going to exclusively use Macs but there's no reason why you shouldn't format it in MS-DOS and on the PC it's going to say FAT32 or FAT16 you should go with FAT32 if you have the option on your PC um, it's also known as FAT um, and that's really the format you want it to be you want your drive to be in just because that is mostly universal uh, it'll work on Linux, it'll work on your Mac, it'll work on your PC. Like I said, it'll work on your PS3, it'll work on, you know, different kind of devices that can take USB drives. Um, but if it's not MS-DOS or FAT32, like I said, it's not going to be compatible most likely. Now basically how this works is you select the format you want. And then you can title it whatever you want. I use my first name. And all you do is you click erase and that's it and then it'll show up again when it's done and it'll show up as your new drive fully formatted uh, with whatever you named it and I just want to say this definitely works I tried it yesterday I was doing work on a PC at my school because uh, you know they they do have Macs but they have less and the Macs always go first so I was using a PC um, but yeah I mean I just opened this up I have a Microsoft Word document that I actually started on the PC at school and opened it up here and it opened up fine with Microsoft Word. It looks exactly the same. Um, so that's about how you do it on a Mac. Um, like I said, you really want to format this even if you have a PC because chances are somewhere along the line, especially if you're in school, college or anything like that, a high school maybe, you're going to need to connect your drive to a Mac at some point. Uh, you know, whether it's your friends or whether it's all the school has, uh, whatever. But it's just the most universal format. Um, you know, whenever you buy SD cards, they always tell you to format them in FAT32 if you're on a PC. Or, if, you know, just MS-DOS FAT here in uh, Mac OS X. Um, and, you know, it's very simple to do. It's just that it's not very straightforward. So I hope you guys uh, were helped by this video. And I hope you guys will leave comments if you have questions. That's about it.